hello and welcome once again i am agina abraham and in this video i'll be showing you how to successfully remove the 30 percent tax on amazon kdp royalties and enjoy full payment now if i publish on amazon kdp you know that um you are obliged to pay your taxes you are obliged to pay your taxes and i'm going to show you that you can see here mine is showing zero percent zero percent tax rates zero percent withholding rates now you can have your account and if you don't have a team number or you haven't set it up you can still publish your books but you will have to um, give them 30 percent for tax withholding so that means after amazon has removed their money for um the kindle um realities remove their money for the paperback realities and still when they want to pay you they are going to remove 30 percent of the payment so let's say after making one thousand dollars a month when amazon wants to pay you tax will be removed of three hundred dollars i'll be left only seven hundred dollars now this is something that's not it's not sweet in the sense that you have already given amazon their share of the money and still they are taxing you on top of the money you have made but with the method i'll be showing you in this quick video you'll be able to get your full payment when your payment comes after amazon has moved their money for printing costs and their realities part they won't touch any of your realities based on tax as you can see here zero percent rate that means all my realities will be sent to my account without any touching without wasting much time i will employ you to subscribe if you are new in this channel subscribe turn on the notification bell and like this video also you can share this video to as many publishers you know many publishers you know that will need this video to boost their earnings on kdp and also this video is free i'm not it's free you can share it to as many people as you want and employ them to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos like this let's get started now the first step is um getting your details ready getting your details ready now to get your um tax id on amazon because you are going to be using some things called tax id now some people don't have tax ids and as um, nigerians most of us don't have tax ids that's not the only point secondly Amazon, um, Nigeria, and US doesn't have a tax treaty. So even though you have a tax ID as a Nigerian, it's likely that it won't be accepted for 0% withholding fees. But in this moment, I'll be showing you how you can get EIN numbers that can help you get a minimal reduction of 0%, 0% withholding rates. You won't have any taxation on your realities. So to do that, I'll be walking you through some steps you need to take. Please. I will advise you get a pen and a paper a pen and a jotter pad or wherever you want to write down these things because you are going to get on call with a u.s representative u.s representative you are going to get on call with them and it's advisable that you write these things down so that you don't stammer when talking to them you don't make mistakes and everything is going well so get your name ready your first and your last name now preferably the name on your kdp account the name of your kdp account yes go to your account on kdp the name there write out that name on the piece of paper the first and the last name it can still not be your name but or but write down that name it's very very important number two step two your phone number get your phone number ready please add your country code to your phone number for instance for nigerians we are used to saying what's your number zero eight one six nine three blah 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 four three eight now add your country code for nigeria it is three plus two three four so you'll be saying when you're asked what's your number you are going to say two three four eight one six nine three blah 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 four three eight your number completely but add plus two three four to the front of it because you're going to be asked what's your number if you're not in nigeria search your country code on google and you will get your country's code for you to be able to apply to your own numbers now you're going to be asked who is the um, proprietor of the business you are the owner of the business sole proprietorship so that's all you just tell them you are the owner of the business sole proprietorship when you ask these questions please write these things down write these things down step four get your mailing address ready get your mailing address ready now your mailing address comprises of your streets your area your city your country and zip code for instance in the example i just um sorry your streets, your area, your city, state or region, your country and zip code. 
For example, in the example I just dropped here, this is a fictional address. Raymond Street, Garai, Abuja, Nigeria, then the zip code address. That's how you get your mailing address ready. So get your mailing address and write it down. Get your mailing address and write it down in this format. Street, area, city, state, region, country, and zip code. Get it ready. Next, your business start date. They ask you when, did you, when is your business start? When did your business start? Just tell them the date started KDP. Maybe 1st of June 2022, 1st of July 2022. Just, in fact, the date, just give them a date. It can be the date started KDP. Now, please note, when giving your data, spell out your information with words. For instance, for instance they might ask you what's your name. Now, your name is Abraham. My name is Abraham, for instance. Instead of saying, my name is Abraham, you can say, my name is Abraham. Then you spell out your name. Spell out your name. The reason mean that pronunciation differs across countries. Pronunciation differs. The way we pronounce words, um, letters, uh, even words, spelling are different. And also, some of our names are local to our countries. In the sense that your names are not known outside your country. Some local names like Yoruba names, Igbo names, um, for um, my non-African, non-Nigerian friends, Ghanaian names, South African names, even German, different names. Your names are not custom to the u.s so you have to make them understand when spelling out your name they should spell it correctly so instead of saying abraham and saying a b r a h a m you say my name is abraham a for apple b for ball r for rainbow a for apple h for house a for apple m for money now this way the person is able to get the spelling of your name correctly now if you are done let's say what you are calling has a space, like your street address or your um, whatever thing you are giving to them that has a space. You just say space and they are going to give space. If it has a comma, you say comma. If it has a full stop, full stop. If it has a hyphen, hyphen. I hope you understand. Just make sure you spell out your details correctly. Spell out whatever thing you are spelling to them. If it's your streets, they say, for instance, they say, um, what's your street? Now, Raymond Street, Garai, Abuja, Nigeria. I can tell them Raymond Street, spell it R for rainbow, A for um, apple, Y for yellow, M for money, O for orange, N for new, D for Daniel, space, S for sun, T for three, R for rainbow, E for egg, another E for egg, C for three, comma, G for green, A for apple, R for rainbow, A for apple, I for ink, comma, A for apple, B for ball, U for umbrella, J for jog, A for apple, comma, N for um, new, I for ink, G for green, E for egg, R for rainbow, I for ink, a for apple comma then your zip code two three four five eight six hope you understand how i called out my my address my mailing address this is how i call out my mailing address to the person over the phone i hope you understand that so please i will advise you before i'm um, getting on call just find the place write it down like you write your address and write the, the words you are you attach to them rainbow whatever address attach it to the letter so that i don't get confused and sometimes after I've called out your details to them, they are going to repeat your details to you. They are going to repeat your details to you. And they'll use the same format I just mentioned. They might say, your name is Abraham. You mean A for apple, B for ball, R for rainbow. You just have to be saying, yes, yes, yes. Now, a place where they made a mistake, you just say, sorry, a mistake. Tell them to correct that later. Once they correct that later, you continue. Or you just tell them to finish, then you tell them to correct the later. But I advise you, if you find a mistake, let them correct it immediately before they proceed so that you don't forget. Now, once you are done getting all those details, call this number. This is the IRS number. Call this number. Plus one, two, seven, six, nine, four, one, one, zero, nine, nine. Call this number. Once you call the number and the number rings, just tap one twice. Tap one on your keypad. One. Tap it twice and it takes you straight to the place where you get your EIN number. Now, to call that office, please call within the period of 7 a.m. 
to 11 a.m. West African time, GMT plus one. That's for my guys in Nigeria, um, Ghana. Call within 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Please, if you are not in Nigeria or you are not in the West African time zone, convert to your country time zone. Just go to Google and type um, GM, um, 7 a.m. GMT plus one to your country time zone. They are going to convert it for you and you know the time you have to call. Because that's when it's best to call them. Call them early when they come to the office or late in the evening when they are leaving the office. But I advise you call them early in the morning before most people start calling their um, office. So call within this time period. And before you get on call, please, for my Nigerian friends, and I don't know in other countries, for my Nigerian friends, get enough call credits. These calls can take up to 40 minutes. I am not joking. Sometimes you have to be on call and I'll tell you to please hold. You hold and wait for... 20 minutes before a representative a representative gets to you you can wait for up to 20 minutes before a representative gets to you so the best thing is get enough call credits and wait be patient so um for this our advice to get international call bundles so just go to google and just search um search um international international call bundles international call bundles call bundles for MTN, that's the MTN line. So you're going to get the code. You are going to get the code. So you are going to get the code. It helps because what is your normal airtime to um, make this call? Your airtime is going to drain very, very fast, very, very fast. So I advise you go for international call bundles so that you can be able to call these people with less spend, with less spend. Okay. So it has loaded you can see 20 minutes for 20 minutes you spend 300 naira 40 minutes you spend 500 naira for 150 minutes international um bundle you spend 1500 naira valid for 30 days so just pick our advice pick the second one which is for 40 minutes i'm sure in 40 minutes you should be done in 40 minutes you should be done so just pick that see 500 naira just pay 500 naira they are going to give you the code so now you are going to see the code below. Just send this message IDB 500 to 131. And once you send it, you are going to follow the prompts and you get the international call bundle for 40 minutes. I can make your call. For other um, networks like Airtel, Glow, Nine Mobile, just search what I searched. International call bundles for then you put your network Airtel. And I'm pretty sure you are going to get it. So you can see here is their code. This is the code to dial. This is the amount. And if you only click, we're going to see the um, what's it called? The rates, the minutes you are going to spend on the call. Now, once you have done that, you get on the call and you're talking with them. You get a person that asks you, "What's the reason for your call? What's the reason for your call?" Now you can use any of these. Just write all of this down. I need an EIN number to comply with the IRS withholding regulations. I am not a US person. I am. Put your nationality. I am a Nigerian and I live in Nigeria. You understand? I am not a US person. I am a Nigerian and I live in Nigeria. Put your um, location, everything. Then I am not starting an entity in the US. I am not starting an entity in the US. You can pause this video and write these things down. These are things I used and they work for me. Pause this video and write these things down. I am an individual and I need to fill my tax forms to obey with the US tax regulations. My intention is to insert reasons like my intention is to publish ebooks on Amazon or work with American companies or sell info products on Clickbank or become an Amazon athlete. These are some of the reasons you can tell them. So just say I'm an individual and I need to fill my tax forms to obey with the US tax regulations. My intention is to publish ebooks on Amazon work with american companies sell info products on clickbank become an amazon afraid so since you publish books this is for kdp just tell them um publish ebooks on amazon you can also use i have recently started my self-publishing account with amazon.com and i have to comply with the irs withholding regulations and fill the w8 ben form so all of this you can just write them down because you don't have to say all of them you don't have to say, you can just pick one or two and you say sometimes they might ask you questions and once actually a question, you answer in scope with this. You answer with scope with this. They can ask you things like, do you plan on selling um, machineries in the US? No. Do you plan on selling drugs? No. 
you understand some questions that you know that do not go well no or yes yes or no so once you're done with that finally in this some um, slide an important note very very important put this at the back of your mind don't tell them that you sell books on amazon this is a complete no don't tell them you sell books on amazon it's amazon that sells the books amazon sells and amazon pays VAT and all other taxes like that tell them that you receive royalties from amazon then ask them to check your local regulations on royalties normally it's amazon that pays the taxes but if you don't have the um, your ein number to um, show them they are going to move the taxes from your own realities but when you provide this EIN numbers and your tax form and everything is fine Amazon is going to pay the taxes so don't tell the person on call that you sell books on Amazon you can use a line you can use one of this format that says I publish ebooks on Amazon don't tell them you sell books it's Amazon that sell the books hope you have gotten that now once that's done you just have to follow some prompts confirm your details and you will be giving your number right there so i advise you get a pen and paper once they are done i'm going to call your number out write it down write it down somewhere they are going to call your AI number write it down write it down don't misplace it so once again this is the number i'm going to call you can pause the video plus two six seven nine plus one two six seven nine four one one zero zero nine so now we're going to move into how you are going to apply this um, EIN number to your KDP account and get the tax withholding rate reduced to 0%. 0%. To follow that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, and also you can share this video with as many people as you want. That said, go to your KDP account. After getting your EIN number, go to your KDP account. Your KDP account. Now, this is my account. This is my KDP account. Now, at the top here, you are going to see your account. Your account. Your account. Click on that. Click on that. Once click on that, it's going to bring you to this page. This page where you fill your details. This page where you fill your details. This page where you fill your details. Once you go that, just scroll down to view and provide tax information. You can see mine. It's already zero percent. It's already zero percent. I can only refresh the page for you to see. Let me reload the page. Let me reload the page so you see that this is not a screenshot or Photoshop. This is not screenshot or Photoshop. You can see when I scroll down, wait for it to load. Wait for it to. You can see zero percent, zero percent, and the same thing I'm about to show you. So now just click on View and Provide Tax Information. Even if you have done your tax on um, tax interview before still click on that if you have not done yet you are fine you can just continue once you go there click on take interview take interview so once you're on this page next thing is you have to fill in the details so individual your tax your tax classification individual are you a u.s citizen click on yes they say are you a u.s citizen yes for money resident or other US resident alien. Click on yes. Now, tax identity information. Put your name. Put your name. Or the most important thing is the name you used when making call with IRS. The name you sent to them for them to use to make your AIN number. That is the name you are to provide. It might not be the same name to your KDP account. Yes, it might not be the same name to your KDP account. Just make sure it is the name. You provided when on call with IRS. Please take note. Take note. It's your KDP account might have a different name, but the name you put when making call with IRS, that's the name you have to put here. If it's the same with the KDP account, fine. If it's not the same, fine. But make sure it is the name you gave to the person on phone. First, put your name. Next is your address. So I just click on edit. Now you put your country, select your country. The first one select your country. Then select your streets, city, state, and so on. Once you select all of that, then your zip code. Once you are filling all the details, you are going to see the prompt. Let me clear this. Let me clear all of this so that you see all they are asking of. You can see streets and numbers. So just put your streets. 
and number and just follow the details and put everything exactly how you gave them on call in the irs call remember when you get your ein number exactly how you gave them on the call once you're done click on done it's going to save so this is your address once that's done next is your ein number you are going to see this um this bar here so it might be on ssn or it change it to ein number change it to ein change it to ein they are going to put the nine digits they gave you let me just put any nine digits so just put the nine digits you are giving so once you put it i think nine digits three, three. yes once you put in nine digits you are giving click on continue click on continue i'm not going to click on that because this is just a fabrication this is not my actual tax form i have done my tax form before so i don't want to do it again so click on continue once you click on continue a form will be presented you see a form the w8 form will appear just scroll down and put the name the same name you put here the same name you put here you are going to put it at the bottom it's going to appear put that name there as your signature then save once you save they're going to show you your tax interview has been completed it's going to be on review for 14 days might even take up to 14 days i think on that three days or less than a week it was approved so just put that and just wait then one day just check your kdp dashboard and if you follow the steps so i assure you you're going to see that your tax has been reduced to zero percent i hope you got all the steps in the video i hope you got all the steps in this video and with this you can enjoy your 30 percent reality um your 100 percent realities when you make sales on amazon and when you get paid it's going to be 100 percent into your us account or whatever account you're going to receive your amazon kdp realities so that is that for this video thank you once again for staying to the end if you haven't done that yet subscribe like and turn on the notification bell see you in my next videos